Logistical supply to the operational theater has always been a challenge in military history, putting lives and missions at risk. In recent years, it became obvious that fuel and water supply are creating an unnecessarily large logistical footprint with ever increasing costs. The NATO Science for Peace and Security program has arranged an advanced research workshop where civilian and military smart energy experts from NATO and partner nations will evaluate the integration of the latest technology into this logistical exercise. The workshop has been organized with the support of the NATO Energy Security Center of Excellence in Lithuania. At the end of the workshop, they will submit recommendations on using smart energy based on what has been learned. I'm one of the co-director. We have two of them and we prepared it since month at least. I had some, some questions on evaluation of, of technologies and, and to see how could we, we observe what's happening here in Hungarian workshop. I think it will be very interesting. It's interesting to see how the military uh, looks on research and on innovation. And from my point of view, it's interesting what are the needs of an army. And, and the next step is then bringing in the industry with their products and understanding how the, the needs of an army work together with standards in the civilian life. Exchange ideas with our partner nations uh, as part of a, a NATO uh, logistics exercise. Uh, specifically, some of the things we're talking about is how to, how to develop tech technologies and exchange ideas to reduce um, uh, fuel and water uh, demand on the battlefield. What we're doing here is we're pushing energy security to the forefront. We're making it a planning consideration up front as opposed to an afterthought once you're on the battlefield. I think this workshop has already had a positive effect uh, in the smart energy space. I think uh, it gets the, the member nations thinking about how they can better apply smart energy uh, characteristics and equities in their planning factors, in their planning phase. First we have um, Capable Logistics 2015. Uh, that brings uh, this subject at a new level in what way? It has, uh, it brings uh, the integration effect of the different technologies, procedures, uh, methods uh, that could be tested uh, in, uh, in an integrated manner. Uh, I think the next step should be standardizing the best uh, practices um, in terms of um, you know, technologies, new technologies, new materials, new procedures. We have to bring them all together.